everything with you is about time, isn't it? The past, the present, the future. Keelan's working with Sabotage. You know all of it, right? You know our strengths, you know our fears. He's my best friend. You know how much we love each other. And you know how to use that love against us. This is all history to him. I know who you are. It's about time. The Flash, all new this Tuesday at 8, 7 central on The CW. What is up, YouTube, and welcome to this Flash Season 3, Episode 20 trailer breakdown. So, after the absolute madness of last week, I am super super excited for the next step in the Flash story. So this is very much going to be a very, very lit episode. So at the start of the trailer, it just looks amazing. I love these showdowns between the hero and the villain in this show. We had last season with Zoom. Obviously before that, it was Reverse Flash. And I think that they do the showdowns amazing in the CW shows. I think they make it look really, really epic with the budget that they have. And I love the swagger that Grant Gustin actually has walking towards him. I think it's going to look freaking awesome. And I'm really hoping that we actually get a showdown fight between these two people. Because we haven't really had a proper fight between them. It's been really, really lopsided until Jesse Quick actually was able to stab that motherfucker in the neck and we realize that it is someone beneath that armor it is not a being it's not like some megatron robot which it actually looks like it looks like some kind of knockoff transformer i'm not a fan of that costume one bit however we have got killer frost now sided with savitar oh no she has sided with savitar which is very, very curious, especially after the last episode, and it is going to be someone which she trusts. Not Caitlyn, but Killer Frost, which, sorry guys, I don't think that the future Flash idea or theory as to who is under the mask of Savitar really works there, because as I said in my previous two videos about the Flash, well, it is someone that she is going to trust, isn't it? It's going to be someone like zoom or ronnie someone like that and this episode is going to be our queen our killer frost kicking ass and laying waste to central city as she is on the hunt for tracy brand the new character played by andrew deck so this is going to be one hell of a fight people and i am super excited for this she looks completely badass and she has shoved aside that persona. Not too sure if we're going to get the Caitlyn Snow and that we love and Snow there. <laughs> yeah, whatever. That's a shit joke. Back. But I don't know if I want her back because I think Killer Frost is a better character, a lot more three dimensional. I think that the actress has done a fantastic job with playing the Bruce Banner style role here, where Killer Frost has been fighting to come out ever since flashpoint thanks barry you dick but it's going to be awesome and i think that we're going to see one hell of a fight here on the show we've got cisco who if you remember last episode he lost his hands and well he can't vibe oh bad sorry for you cisco there but the showdown between these two is going to be epic we have got one of the best platonic ships on TV here fighting against each other. Albeit that's not Caitlyn, it is Killer Frost. But for Cisco, for all intents and purposes, that is his friend underneath that persona there. So I'm going to really look forward to this fight. And it's going to be absolutely awesome. And well, you've got Savitar and Killer Frost against Team Arrow. So Cisco's going to have to stop being a pussy little bitch like he usually is in these fights or these episodes where he has to use his vibe powers and he's going to have to kick some ass for once. So it's not looking good for Team Flash having those two team up. I mean, this is this is a team up greater than Kane and Undertaker when they formed the Brothers of Destruction. I mean, this is going to be badass and, well, it's a lopsided fight. But however... Are Team Flash able to stand up to this? 
I hope so, because in two episodes' time, we've got Captain Cold. And, well, like you've all said in my comments, you are looking forward to a possible ship between Killer Frost and Captain Cold. Cold squared, I'm going to call it. That's terrible maths. I'm not sure if it is terrible maths. Let me know. I'm sure you will. Let me know you're a very vocal bunch. But the next question I'm going to ask myself is, who created this Savitar armor? And it's a very interesting question, That who is behind that armor? And that is something I want to know. So let me know what you think in the comments. And I'll see you soon, and goodbye.